Hey, today I'm going to do a comparison between the tall and short version of the Titan Fitness Pulley Tower version 3. Hey, this is Greg with Discovering Strength, a channel focused on fitness tips and product reviews for the average guy or girl trying to get in shape through strength training. If you like what you see, please consider subscribing below. Alright, so I've had the tall version of the Titan Pulley Tower version 3 for about a year and a half now, um, but I recently purchased the short version as well so that I could create this cable crossover in my gym. Um, so in this video, I plan to just go over some of the differences between the two that I've discovered since installing them and using them. Alright, so first of all, the most obvious is just the height of the unit. So this is the short version over here and this one stands at 80.5 inches and I've got the tall on the other side and that one's at 84.5 inches so a difference of four inches between the two. Alright then the next thing is that there's actually a difference in the hole spacing between the tall and the short version. Um, as I said I got these to uh, create a cable crossover and I mistakenly thought that the whole spacing would be the same. Uh, it is not. So I've had to make some adjustments on my end to make it work. But on the tall version over here, the whole spacing's at three and a half inches. And on the short version, it's only three inches. So uh, they don't line up one for one. All right, and then given that there are two different heights and there's a difference of four inches, uh, there is only 17 holes built into the uh, short version, whereas the tall version has 18 different holes. All right, and then there's not much of a cost difference between the two, uh, but the short version does come in at $10 less at $190 about and this one over here is about $200. Okay then lastly one thing I want to point out uh, and this I think is a difference of just purchasing these about a year and a half apart and Titan making some decisions to cut corners uh, during that time. Um, I think one of the biggest differences I found uh, and you can check out my previous video above um, where I looked at the pulleys themselves when I uh, put together the short version. But the pulleys are definitely lesser quality on the newest version of these cable machines. Uh, I don't think it's really a difference between short and tall, uh, but the cables just don't spin quite as, or the, the pulleys don't spin quite as well on the newest versions of these cable machines. Alright, so the one thing that both of these definitely have in common is that it's hard to find them in stock. Um, they're currently both on back order. So if you're looking to get one of these, uh, you'll probably have to purchase it on back order, which I did with the, uh, the short version and it took about a month and a half for it to come into stock and for them to ship it to me. So overall, uh, I really enjoy both of these units. Um, the short version, like I said, it being the, the newest one I purchased, the pulleys are lesser quality, which is disappointing, but uh, still when I use them, I can't feel that much difference between the two. So it works out and I'm really excited about having this cable crossover configuration here. So I'll probably do another video where I talk about how I was able to jimmy rig the short version here to line up with the tall. Um, but that does it for the video. Let me know in the comments below if you got any questions and 
We'll see you next time.